this video, we are going to look at the Pending Assessments page in Schoolbox. The Pending Assessments page is divided into two sections, Requires Assessment and Not Submitted. At the top of the page, you will see Filters. Clicking on the arrow will expand the list of available filters. These can include Assessment Type, Work Type, your classes and groups, terms, units, activity status, and weighting. Your school chooses the filters that you have available here, so the filters you see may be slightly different to what I have. You can click on the different options to choose what information you would like to display on the pending assessments page. Once you have selected the filters you would like to use, Click Apply Filters. Your page will now load all of the relevant activities according to your selections. Your filter preferences will be saved so that you won't have to adjust them next time you visit this page. You can remove filters by clicking the X next to the type or revert back to the default filters by clicking Reset to Default. Underneath the Filters area, you will see Requires Assessment. Here, you will see the activities that students have submitted online. This provides a quick list of what needs to be reviewed or marked. The list is sorted into the oldest activities at the top, therefore requiring the most urgent assessment. To see which student's work you need to mark, you can click on the arrow and expand the list of submissions. Clicking on the title of the assessment takes you to the Quick Mark screen. The Quick Mark screen provides you with an overview of the submission status of students and allows you to provide quick feedback. Clicking on an individual student will take you to the Inline Grader screen for that student. Tasks can be marked off directly from the Pending Assessment screen by clicking on the tick. The Not Submitted section displays activities that still require student submissions. To view which students have not submitted, you can expand this list, allowing you to easily email all students who have not submitted. If the student has handed work in outside of the online submission, you can click the Markers Submitted button. This will remove the student from the Not Submitted list as they have already submitted. You can perform this action in bulk by using the three dots on the Quick Mark screen. You will notice on all submissions that there is a progress bar. The light blue represents students who have not submitted, the dark blue students who have submitted, and the vertical bar represents how many submissions you have published feedback for.